And even before Title 42 is lifted, there are concerns at local shelters that are already over capacity and some worry migrants may not have a place to go. ABC 7 Sarah Coria has more. Five shelters just like this one are either at capacity or over capacity as migrants continue to cross the border into El Paso. It's not a day by day situation. It's an hour by hour situation. We just had 10 that walked in the door not within the past hour. John Martin, deputy director of the Opportunity Center for the Homeless, says the shelters were inundated with migrants Sunday night. To put this into perspective, last night we had 162 men in a facility that can comfortably handle between 100 to 120. Martin says while the shelters were hit heavy Sunday night, the Welcome Center started seeing migrants early Sunday morning. We had a drop off from Border Patrol. It was a bus with approximately 50 people and they were dropped off head just outside here on the curb. With temperatures dropping, Martin says the need for shelter increases. He fears the shelter is not in a position to serve everybody. Even though I'm thankful that we've not turned away any of the local homeless population, but the reality of it is the large number of migrants that we're seeing at this time will probably put us in a position in the near future where we're going to have to say no. Not because we want to, in fact our desire is the opposite, but simply because we don't have space. Martin added they will continue to focus on the local homeless population. They have not turned away any homeless at this point, but they may have to turn away migrants. The reality is there's just too many people and we need a dedicated space, which we have strongly advocated for, to act as a migrant shelter within our community. And if you'd like to help, Martin said you can donate jackets and coats as we continue to get into the colder months this season.